Hey guys, how is it going? In this video, I will be talking about soft landing in Canada after getting your PR visa. Or in other words, if you can land in Canada after getting your PR for a few days and come back to your country just to go back there again after some time. I'll be telling you about the details, the requirements and the tips as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and press that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so basically what is soft landing? There's no such thing as soft landing in technical or legal terms. People usually Use that word if a person flies to Canada just to validate the permanent residency status while actually not moving there permanently at this time. It's just a quick trip to validate your residency and return back. I hope it's clear now. What is the requirement? So basically, when you get your COPR, you're supposed to go to the visa office and get your passport stamped with the one-time Canadian visa. That visa has got an expiry date which is generally one year from the date of your medical test. And you should land in Canada once before the visa expiry date. Now, some people might have some personal or professional commitments which may be pushing them to avoid migration or immigration for some time. Now, what can that commitments may be? It might be that you have a very good job, you don't want to quit the job at that point of time, or maybe you have some personal commitments like your family members getting married, or some health issues of your family members, or anything like that. Or maybe you just want to save some more money so that you can use it in your initial days in Canada. So what should you do in that case? In that case, you should land in Canada before the visa expiry date because that is the mandatory thing. You should complete the formalities like getting the SIN number, opening your bank account and other formalities as well. You can also look for accommodation options, job opportunities and make connections. Go back to your home country and come back completely prepared. You, as I suggested you can look for the accommodation options uh, which area you want to choose for your living you know where do you actually uh, which city do you want to choose I mean you can do you can try out some options and you can also inquire people the locals about that you can choose uh, your own area where you want to live I mean things like that right now the most important point which should not be missed it's about the PR card. Your PR card generally arrives in 1.5 to 2 months time. It generally takes like 60 days. If you plan to go back before that, ensure that you update your Canadian address to a friend's address or relative's address who can actually collect your PR card on your behalf. So you can actually call the authorities and you can get your address updated. Just in case you're moving back to your home country before getting the PR card. Now your friend or your relative can actually send it back to your home country through a trusted courier service. In case uh, there's another option as well, uh, I'll, let me tell you about it. You can apply for a one-time visa but they would uh, actually ask you the reason for that. You should have a solid reason to explain that why you traveled back. The better option is definitely to get the uh, PR card through a trusted international courier service from your friend or relative who's residing there in Canada. If your family is migrating, few important points. Dependents need not migrate on the same day. It's a very important point. Primary applicant should land before or with the dependents. But dependents also have to land once before their visa expires. So people are quite confused about it. They think that if uh, you're three of them, like you're you, 
your spouse and your child, all of you have to land on the same day. It's mandatory. No, it's not mandatory. The primary applicant has to land before the uh, dependents, that is the spouse and the children. However, your ch spouse and children can actually come back, you know, they can actually uh, come to Canada after a few days or a few months, but before the visa expires. So guys, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching this uh, video. If you really like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them. Also, please do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you so much for watching this video.